Hi, I'm Leanne Kiefer. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm also Director of Education for Crosstex. We have a number of ways that we can monitor the process that we're doing, including physical and chemical, but I really want to focus on the options that we have for biological monitoring. Let's talk about the option of in-office first. When we plug in the block incubator, you'll see that an LED display appears. When it's first plugged in, this light is going to be flashing. When the light stops flashing, you will see a number of 60 degrees plus or minus 2. When it stops flashing, it means that the incubator has reached temperature. If you'll notice in this vial, on the plastic vial on the outside, it contains a small glassine-like vial on the inside that's holding the tryptic soy broth, which is the nutrient fluid. You'll also see at the very bottom of the vial is a white paper strip. This is actually the spore strip. What has to happen once this vial has been processed in the sterilizer is we have to get the tryptic soy broth out of that ampule so it surrounds the spore strip. The way that's accomplished is we're actually going to crush that interampule of the vial. With the confirm incubator, you'll see that there are 13 individual spots that the vials can be placed. Before that happens, we need to crush that inner vial so in the very back, you'll notice that there is a longer opening. If we place that vial into the opening and we gently tip it to the side, you'll hear an actual pop. And that means that that glass ampule has been broken. And at this point, you'll now see that that spore strip is now surrounded by the fluid. At that point, we're going to put our test vial into one of the wells. We're also then going to take the control vial that was not processed. We also have to release the fluid. So it would go into the crusher. We'd pop it. And it would be placed next to the test with a confirmed 10 you're going to be able to do a 10-hour incubation that you would have final readout. Some of you, you may have what we call the Confirm 24, and that is a 24-hour incubation product. A Confirm 10 vial needs to be used with a Confirm 10 incubator. A Confirm 24-hour vial needs to be used with a Confirm 24-hour incubator. They are not interchangeable. If, in fact, you do have one of our previous incubators and you are using a confirmed 24-hour product, that product does not have a built-in crusher. So there's actually a supplemental crusher. It's just plastic, and you simply place the vial inside and squeeze down, and that will crush the inner ampule. So how do we know if a spore test has passed or failed? A test vial, when it comes out of the incubator, should remain purple because that indicates there was no spore growth and the test passed. If the test vial comes out and is actually yellow in color, it means that we did have spore growth, meaning that the sterilizer was not effective and the spore test has failed. Remember that we did not sterilize the control vial. Therefore, the spores should grow in a control vial. And what you see here is a change in the color of the liquid from the purple to a yellow. So what happens if my control vial comes out and my control vial is actually purple? What that tells me is that there could have been a problem with that particular vial, that the spores may not have been active, that there was something wrong. So we need to go back and look at and rerun another test with another control to make sure that, in fact, we do have active spores, that there's not been something that's happened to the quality of the spores in that particular lot.